Well, hello YouTube, it's me Fortnaster, and welcome back to this absolute cluster of a Hearts of Iron 4 game. <laughs> okay, so if this is the first time you're watching this series, because I don't think I've actually talked about this this much in the series, um, apart from like the, at the very beginning, this is part of a mega campaign that we played like since Crusader Kings 2. True, yep. So, um, yeah, uh, all of this, this is why this world is so messed up. <laughs> and why Portugal owns the vast majority of Africa, with the exception of this little part of me. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, we are We defeated all of our enemies over in the New World. Uh, uh, and now we're fighting in uh, Asia. We're fighting a land war in Asia because we're fighting against... What is their... Uh, yeah, the Central Powers <laughs> in Central Asia, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so besides that, let's get this uh, back into this then, shall we? Sounds good. Yeah, so I'm just, I'm putting an order out just to begin construction. More railroad, uh, more railway lines, all level five. How's uh, how's um, recording been going for you? It's working pretty well right now. This is uh, the only series that I actually record on my channel now. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Everything else is live stream. Ah. For me, um, I've it, I've been I've been I haven't played it in a bit, but I've been having a lot of fun playing um, Psychonauts. But the only thing is, I guess it's because it's such an old game. There's the problem uh, where I guess like it happens during like loading screens, but whenever it, there's a loading screen, it knocks my uh, my uh, camera out of like sync with the video a little bit. Oh no! So there's been a couple of times where I've been playing, and then I've gotten to the end of editing a half hour episode, and my face cam, without me even noticing, has gotten like a, almost a second out of sync with my audio. Wow. Yeah, so that's Jeez. annoying. Right? It's been long enough, I didn't even remember that we had taken all of India. That's wild. Almost. It's like there's that little Malwa that's in there. Actually, wait, so who actually True. do we have to knock out? We just, okay, so Tibet and Lan, uh, Lanzang. Mm hmm. Or in the Oriental Horde. Okay. Who were they? Uh, the oh, Oirat oh Horde. them! Yeah. They're pretty good size. Yeah, I know, but like, oh, God. Where's my, where's my army? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, they, they're all the way over here. Border you. Oh, and I somehow, oh, God. I, I somehow own this little piece of land for some reason. I messed up. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, Tibet, Linzang, uh, Mong Pai, the Raj, and Malwa are all in in the group. Oh, and I guess it. the Oi Rat Horde just joined, so. Yeah, and that just increased our front by a mart by a noticeable margin. Yes. For some reason their um capital isn't red for me though. What do you mean? Uh the um the star on the capital turns red uh whenever they're enemies. Like Mong Pai, Lang Zhang, the Raj, and Malwa all have red stars oh. on their cap. Or wait, are we? But for are, some reason, the Oi Rat Horde does not. Maybe give it a second because we are paused. Oh, gotcha. I guess we can let you join the faction now, I guess. Yes, we welcome everyone. You grow. Okay, good. Good. I was just looking at them a second ago and noticed that they were friendly towards us, so. All of you guys get back here as fast as possible. <laughs> uh, am I deciphering Tibet? Oh no, I I I, well, I mean I guess I'll activate it. Sure. <laughs> Divisions in training. Uh, some mount. I'll just train up a bunch of mountaineers. As we're moving into Asia. There's a lot of mountains there. Mongol Kanate, huh? Yeah, because um, the Ornet, the or Oriet Horde is currently at war with them, so I thought I'd give them some help. There you go. Oh, there they are. I see them finally. It's a little thing. Right? Kind of cutting through the middle of the Horde. That's yeah. Good. How, what, is, what are you guys currently even moving at? You're one kilometer an hour. Oh no. Yeah, so minus 
actually minus 41% because of lack of supply, minus 5% for infrastructure, minus 60% for lack of fuel. Ugh. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> How are we doing on this? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Building a port in Florida. I should also probably build upgraded a, a, a port over here just to help our, our supply thing. Yeah, pretty much all of my industrial capabilities right now are just doing nothing but building infrastructure. <laughs> so I'd really like to place an offensive line, but for some reason it's not allowing me to click on it. Uh, really? Do you want the pause or? Uh, no, it. It makes Wait. a sound like it clicks, but do you have a front line? <laughs> I do. I just placed one. Yeah. Okay. And so they're moving towards the front line, but it's not allowing me to click on offensive line. Hmm. I can click on spearhead, but I can't click on offensive line for some reason. Okay. Oh, wait a second. I, I guess we'll do a spearhead. What army are you? Oh, oh God. Okay. So yeah. Well, I have armies here that I have that are doing absolutely nothing. Oh, come on. Get over here. Do something useful. <laughs> Earn your paycheck. <laughs> That's right. Get busy, boys. You see, did I did I place the the line with the wrong army? That might have been because I'm really smart like that. <laughs> Absolutely stupendous. <laughs> yeah, these guys should be on this line. Hi, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, I would very much appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button below the video. I upload at least every other day, and I would very much hate for you to miss anything I put out. Now back to the video. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much summarizes this entire struggle. <laughs> it feels like we're in the... Uh, Actually, wait, was there a first Great War? I forget. Did we have a World War I in Victoria too? <clears throat> I mean, kind of, but not... Not really a world war, I don't think. Nobody was, like, uh, no, no, allied yes. with each other. We were fighting independent nations. So. so this is technically, like, the first world war, technically speaking. True. It's very true. So, I mean, that makes sense why everything's going so slow. Mm -hmm. mm, wait a minute. Um, current speed. Uh, current speed, 11.4 kilometers. Base, 120 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Naval... Uh, movement modifier, 10%, rain minus 5. What? <laughs> wow. There's something wrong going on there. See them, they're all moving across the, uh, the ocean. There's, mm. there's some funky math going on there. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it, it's, it, it's fun, it, it's fun getting to, the, uh, getting huge, but, like, it gets to a point where there's, there's just so much stuff going on. Very true, yeah. Yeah, there's so much to keep track of. It's a bit overwhelming sometimes. Mm hmm Experimental rockets, why not? <laughs> I might be researching rocket engines right now, I don't know. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, they want to help in our war efforts. Yeah, the Mongol Canitate. Oh, wait, What's have up? have they given... Are, are they giving you Lend-Lease? The Cyprus wants to help in the war efforts. Uh, they might have been. I uh, I just accepted it. I It just said they wanted to help, so I said yes. <laughs> okay, okay, sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Wait, Discord um, sounds? What? Yeah, they've got, like, uh, like soundboards, yeah. Did you hear yep. that? I did. Oh, okay. When did they add <laughs> this? A uh, couple... A month or so ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe two months. Yeah, because my uh, my D&D &D DM... I uh, started playing with them a little bit, so... <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Right on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It's it's too fun. Don't worry about it. It's too fun. Hello. When did you join? Who did? Trans uh, uh, Trans Austria. When did they join? 
Did they join us or the other? No, guys? they joined the enemy. Oh, okay. No, I didn't get a notification about that. Oh, Desiree has joined the war. Yep. <clears throat> Very interesting. Well, I mean, they're in our faction. Oh, I forgot that they were invited. Yeah. yeah remember, they wouldn't join until we de until we dealt with Mexico. Yeah. And by we, you mean you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did all that work, man. Yeah, wait a minute. Mm. North and South America. Of course, I don't know how much help uh, Desiree is going to be with our war in Asia. Like, I mean, they have soldiers. They can bring them over. True, true. Oh, God. How's that? No, just I'm just... This is such a mess over here. <laughs> I'm trying to spearhead straight for their capital, but I... I don't want to get uh, encircled, though. Ah, great. I don't think they have enough troops, but it's possible. Oh, God, I'm reorganizing the front line. This is not good. Where are you guys? <laughs> okay, they're, Imagine they're... Portuguese Australia wanting to join us. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, sure. Just something for just something else for them to shoot at. That's right. That's right. Okay. Well, my uh, the uh, my army, uh, the other half of my army is now back from the New World. Is officially in the um, back uh, back in Europe. Ah. Uh -huh. Very good news. Yeah. I'm amazed with nobody on their borders. Transoxiania is, uh, like, barely trying to move in. Or is that the Ori Rat Horde? I guess it I is. I think it might be both. Because it, it's splitting up the territory between the two. <laughs> yeah. They haven't made much headway, though. It's surprising. Mm. It's these stupid mountains, they're making everything complicated. True. Yeah, it's so slow through there. No, but they're splitting my front line in half, so, like, it's making my orders all weird. Oh, no. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of green. That's good. I'm liking the look of that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do we need more infrastructure over here? I, uh... Always. <laughs> always. <laughs> always. 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 Always be building. That's right. I had to check on my construction. It is, it is quite nice having all of these, uh, all of these civilian factories. Oh my gosh. I can only imagine, like... Oh, it's taken me forever to build. I wish I could. Actually, because uh, yeah, there we go. Just keep my keep them from annoying me for a bit. I've got a hundred and five factories. Is all a hundred and five? I have six hundred and sixteen civilian factories. Exactly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about superpower. <laughs> That's what I get for uh, taking over Africa, though. Like, that place was completely undeveloped. Oh. Uh, if we ever, you know, even if it's just like for uh, just like, for us playing, I think next time we, next time we, if we do ever do like EU4 or something like uh, that again, we need to start further away from each other so that way we're not like stifled by our own development because like having us be literally right next to each other in Iberia kind of stifled you especially in the long run. Well, I mean, I mean, I'm not upset about it or anything. We we started where we did and we went with the best options that we had. So <laughs> yeah, I it worked guess. out really well, you know, for for what it was. But yeah, yeah I I agree that uh, if we do it again, I would like to start a little further away. 
maybe maybe do maybe a couple other mods like i know i want to play like kaiserreich multiplayer mm, okay i'm not familiar with that guys right it's a mod alt history basically what if germany won world war one and then the world just kind of Ooh. goes from there wow so like um, both England and France are uh, syndicalist, which is a different version of like communism. Okay. Um, the the royal family escaped to Canada. Uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, and then, like America breaks out into like a three way civil war. Wow. It's... I can. It gets it gets going. That sounds like fun though. Mm-hmm. I like that idea of uh, alternative history. It's really good. Oh man, come on. I've I've put so many motorized uh, units in my attacking armies. I don't understand why it's taking them years, literally years, to get into position. Well, like, again, if you, I already had them on the front lines. So. Well, for me, again, if you hover over them, if they're moving, it, if you click on them and you hover and you click on, if you hover over the arrow, it'll tell you what's slowing them down. Again, for me, I have a motorized division. It's like base speed is four kilometers an hour. It's uh, speed it's moving is one again, because lack of supply is negative 77%. Lack of infrastructure is negative 20% and then lack of fuel is another 60%. If the numbers, oh. if they, if the numbers weren't like capped at like a lowest movable speed, I'm pretty sure these guys would be moving backwards. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I see now that everybody has red supply boxes. Like, the supply is absolutely atrocious here. More infrastructure everywhere. Right. We need the railroads. We just we need just regular roads as well. <laughs> Any roads. We can just link these two front lines up. That would help things immensely. They're all getting logistics wizard. <laughs> Wait, more of that, please. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I will level you up with that. It's funny that they even call it that. <laughs> Logistics wizard. <laughs> like, Actually, oh, okay. wait a second, wait a second. There's something funny. If, uh, where is the, the trait? Um, because I remember if you hover over them, uh, the traits actually have descriptions, and I think some of them can be really funny. Uh, let me see. How do I get... Oh, here we go. Uh, logistics wizard supply consumption minus 15 percent supplies are never late nor are they ever early they arrive precisely when i mean them to <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic oh my god <laughs> I, I, I just, precisely i love that that's funny <laughs> That's so good. Little stuff like that <laughs> that you never know where it's the, right. <laughs> oh, Iraq is now our ally. I thought we were allies all along. Were we not? Wait, what was that? Uh, oh, it no, told wait. me that Ugrat, uh, Ugra called Iraq as our ally. Okay, so wait, I think it's because like the war between um all right the all right horde and the Mongol Khanate was a separate war. So I joined no. that war. So I think all the uh, all our allies are joining into that war as well. I see. Okay. I think I figured out what's going on. <laughs> we are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could argue against that, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Filtrate the civilian government, please. Not like they're doing anything with it. Am I still recruiting Marines? Please, please don't. Please stop. <laughs> please, no, no more, please. Yeah. Don't. don't do that anymore. Wow, our plan to take the Tibetan capital is 80% because of inferior enemy. Oh my gosh. Okay, sure. I like that. <laughs> now, if only we could get our, if only we could get our bullets to our soldiers to exploit that. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, we're sitting here with the, what's it, a forty-five percent plan value total, and uh, we just can't move. <laughs> can't do anything because we have no. <laughs> we have no, no food. That's right. 
We need food, we need bullets, we need hand grenades. We need trains. Speaking of which, I'm going to start building the cheaper ones. Heck yes. Oh, where are your uh, your big trains? What do I you gotta mean? take a look at them again, because uh, what do you mean big so trains? Awesome. The uh, the war trains. The oh, the austerity trains. ones. So the, uh, yeah, uh, the yeah. so again, they're at the very bottom of what is it? Support companies. Um, and they, no, they... I mean, I mean yours, the ones that you actually actively have in in combat. Where are they? Oh, uh, you mean the railway guns? Yes. Um, I have no idea. They are. I have. <laughs> I have them. I have them assigned to armies, and they're doing their best to get there and actually do something. But again, infrastructure over here in railways are not the best. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. Yeah, I was trying to zoom in and see uh, on the icons if I could see the railway guns, but oh, there's there's one. Oh yeah, <laughs> found one. <laughs> <laughs> And he's literally at a dead end. <laughs> There's like no real after that. Just, please. He's trying his hardest. <laughs> <laughs> lay the track. We'll lay the track ourselves. <laughs> they look so cool, though. Yeah, well, I mean, ours are modeled after the Schwer Gustav, which was the absolutely giant one or uh, giant ones that the Germans built. Um, I believe mm -hmm. in the game they also have one based off of ones that like... Um, the Russians used and the Americans used, and the, uh, did the British oh. have ones? I don't. I forget. I'm completely unfamiliar. The only ones that I knew about were the Germans. Yeah, well, I mean, they were the biggest, right? And I was only reminded of them with the uh, the second Sherlock Holmes movie with uh, Robert Downey Jr. Oh, have you seen those? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the thing was, the, st the stuff that was firing at them in that movie, those weren't railway guns. Those were just pieces of our, like, World War One artillery. There you go, yeah. <laughs> they had they had the railway gun there, but I don't think it fired until... No, I will say, these railway guns, they weren't built until World War uh, Two. Um, the ones in World War One, uh, the ones you're thinking of, was the Paris gun, which actually, for a while, I think had the longest, like, range shot of any, like, gun ever. Oh. Um, it was, nice. it was literally, like, a battleship gun they took, and then they extended it, like, three times longer. <laughs> thing Bigger was, is better, right? Yeah, well, longer, yeah. And, <laughs> and the thing was, with that the gun, because the wear on the barrel was so significant, each shell was progressively larger than the last one, so it would still fit in the gun. Oh my gosh. Not gonna say that's like some ladies I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's cut that out. <laughs> sorry. Oh no, that's staying in there, buddy. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that, that, that is entirely on you. You did that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think I, I I don't think jokes like that can get you demonetized. <laughs> and Thankfully, spe yeah, especially with however far in we are into this video. Drew, Drew. 